In this video, I want to answer the question, what is the Pareto Principle? The Pareto Principle is also sometimes known as the 80-20 rule, and it crops up in a lot of places. Extremely long rivers are very rare, but there are a lot of very short rivers. Some words appear very often in our conversation and our writing. Others appear hardly ever. This is because the Pareto Principle is an expression of a very general principle in nature. But what makes this expression particularly useful for project managers is it's very easy to understand. It tracks back to an Italian economist, Vilfredo Pareto. And at the turn of the 19th to the 20th century, Pareto was interested in the distribution of wealth and wealth inequality, a topic which, of course, is still very relevant today. And in studying the wealth distribution in Italy, he discovered that something like 80% of Italy's wealth belonged to something like 20% of its citizens. And that pattern is still very much true today. If you look at the distribution of wealth around the world, you'll find not only the Pareto 80-20 principle, but that something like 5% of the world's population accounts for something like half of global wealth. The Pareto principle found its way into modern business thinking with the American quality guru, Joseph Duran. He was working at General Motors, looking at improving the production line when he was introduced to the idea of the Pareto Principle by an executive who was studying pay inequalities. And that executive had discovered that the Pareto Principle, the 80-20 rule, applied to pay in General Motors. So Duran asked a question. He asked, what if the same pattern applies to other things? And he found that it did. He found that he could account for something like 80% of production line faults from around 20% of causes. And that brings us very neatly to our definition of the Pareto Principle, which says quite simply that 80% of what you get comes from 20% of what you do. This tells us that a small number of causes account for the vast majority of the outcomes we observe. And it leads to another name for the Pareto Principle, which is sometimes called the law of the vital few. And there are examples of the law of the vital few everywhere we look. In geography, a few rivers deliver most of our fresh water. In business, a few corporations make most of the profits. In demographics, a few cities account for most of a developed country's population. In healthcare, we find that a few patients account for a majority of care costs. And in criminology, a small number of criminals commit most of the crimes. What's perhaps surprising is how many of these examples conform not just to the general Pareto principle, but to the specific 80-20 rule. That is, the numbers are 80% of the outcomes are driven by 20% of the causes, because Pareto only really said that a small number of causes account for most of the outcomes. And so we might expect to see anything from 10 or 15 to maybe 30% of causes accounting for anything from 60 to 90% of outcomes. But it does seem that the numbers 80-20 crop up an awful lot. So how is this valuable for you as a project manager? In a word, prioritization. Find a vital few problems and resolve them. Find a vital few sources of risk and mitigate those and find your vital few stakeholders and satisfy them. 
The Pareto Principle, the 80-20 rule, the law of the vital few, tells us that if we prioritise ruthlessly, we can find a small number of points of control and use those points of control to gain significant leverage over our project.